Well, Joe, your beard is legendary <laughs> in, the, in the world of finance. <laughs> and I know again. we know you have a very specific grooming, beard grooming re regime. Can you show us? <laughs> Grandmaster Joe. <laughs> Great to see you. And what is in your office? What's on your table? My niece. Um, so that's my alma mater. <laughs> yeah, so family is important to you. Uh, baseball stuff and things that come from your part of the world that visitors give me. Yeah, I, I gave you this in 2007. This is my 07 This rubbish bit is something I've always remembered. It's one yes, of the most memorable yep. things. I went to Rupert Murdoch's office one day, and this was before the digital age, you know, when everything in communicated was on paper. And he had this huge trash bucket in his office. And I was really impressed with it. So I called his secretary back and I said, oh God, I want one just like that. Where did you get that? And at first she was like making, being very secretive. So finally she relented and told me where to get it. So I got it and I've had it with me ever since, even though today we don't use much paper. I mean, yeah, this is genuine it's leather. leather. Leather with a bit of gold yeah. on the side. Yeah. Who, who are some other famous people that have walked through these doors? Jack Ma? Uh, his people have been here for a while uh, when they needed some office space. Oh, really? You lent them office space? Yeah. 原来马云的团队也在这里待过、工作过、借过。Well, uh, you know, our founding investors, the Agnelli family. Right. The owner and founder of IKEA. Let's see, Santo Domingo from Colombia, South America. You know, I've seen so many people walk through this office because my old cubicle was just yeah. right out there. And I remember when Vivi Nevo, I don't, I don't know if yeah, you remember. Yeah, the Israeli. I mean, the Israeli billionaire. Yeah, yeah. Uh, at, who was dating Zhang Ziyi, Ziyi yeah. Zhang, yeah. who's a huge Chinese actress. Yeah. And actually, they were engaged. Yeah. Tell us the backstory. Why did it, why did it not I happen? I don't know. I didn't get into his personal <laughs> life. You want to know all that? I didn't ask. <laughs> anyway. What is Vivi Nevo like? He, you know, a very smart, colorful, um, energetic, uh, I would say tightly wound. Uptight. Uh, no, just he's, you know, there's, there's no f excess fat on him. That's what I mean about tight, you know? <laughs> and uh, uh, very smart and uh, an expert on the media space. So, this is Zhang Ziyi's former VV Nevo. When I was there, I saw him directly go to do you remember Kartik? Kartik. And Kartik yeah, and Nabil. Yeah, from India. And, yeah, and so uh, in the IELTS class, because we would often work late, we'd often work through the night. Yeah. And at night, when everybody left, we would kick off our shoes. So I kick off my high heels. You know, the, the guys would kick off their, their leather shoes. And we would run around. I remember there was one night when I sat here and Kartik sat, sat there. <laughs> and we looked at each other and said, this is what it feels like to be Joe and Peter. <laughs> and then Kartik from Peter's phone called your phone, and then we had a little telephone meeting. <laughs> yeah. Fun. Can I sit in your chair again? Sure. Wow, I can sit in this chair for Joe Da Ye. You're more famous than I am. <laughs> mm. Well, you know, my feet don't touch the floor. I, I'm not no, as... No, that's because I have it up high, but I could lower it for you. No, but this is great. So, a view of Central Park. Right. View of Peter's face if you look straight up. Right. And then a view of the bullpen. Yep. Okay. That's our first check for $3 million. Ooh. You said they like numbers, right? Yeah, so, yeah. That was from Cathedra, private equity firm in Italy, Claudio Spasito. You know, it's, it's like a, a, a classic thing to do when someone had like a little grocery store 
And the first sale they made, they took the dollar bill and framed it and put it up. So when you walk into these family-owned places, they have a, a little frame with their first dollar. So that was, that's where we got the idea. Claudio sent us that. I remember you bought this 10 years, 10, 15 I bought, years ago. This was the first painting I bought for the new company because I wanted, you know, what I thought was an important painting. And how much was this piece then? It was then? It was two. 200,000. Two million. Two million USD. 200,000. So this is you sitting in my old cube. Hi, I'm Sarah. Hey, nice to meet you. This was, this was my first cube, my first year. And then I upgraded, this is my first year of the And then I upgraded to that cube. This was the best cube. These are like wireless headsets. Well, Joe, your beard is legendary in, in, the, in the world of finance. <laughs> and I know, again. we know you have a very specific grooming, beard grooming re regime. Can you show us? Did you, no, did no, you bring no, no. Beard? I get criticized all the time. No, no, no. Come on, come on, come on. You know you no, want to. No, where's your, where's your beard First comb? of all, no, the most important Hi. thing. Oh, oh, you didn't I know what you're looking for. Where's, where's your Here's beard? what she's looking for. Wait a minute. Here's what she's looking for. I'm not on now. Yes. This is what she's looking yes. for. Uh, Show us. No, no, wait. no. But wait, we've got to start from the beginning. Oh, no, no. Okay. First, you have to have the right barber. Okay. And so you have to know how to trim the beard. Now, this is going on two weeks. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, every you have to, you know, wash it. Shampoo, then conditioner. No, the cheapest one around. Which is? I don't know. even know the name. It's called Clear. Clear. Okay. Yeah. So, so, and then you, yeah, so it, do you wet it first? The other ones, they charge 20 and $30, and they do the <laughs> same thing. So do you wet it first? No, I get in a shower. Okay. And the first thing I do is wash my beard. bald head <laughs> and my beard. Okay. So and then I put the conditioner on, and then I shave my neck, because I don't like hair on a neck. Why? You know, it looks gross <laughs> when you have hairy neck with hairs sticking out of a collar under here. <laughs> so it sort of almost dries. It's, I dry it with a towel. And then, you know, I put a little of that cream on my hands, rub everything on. And then I have a brush for fine hair because I have very fine hair. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't have thick hair, right? There's not much Ooh. there. You know, Very soft. Soft. Like a baby's right. bottom. So you have to use one of these English hair brushes uh, that um, you buy on German Street. And, you know, I comb it the way you see it. And then maybe... Oh, like Mason Pearson brushes. Yeah, and then okay. maybe the last thing I do <laughs> is I take the comb out and I do this to make sure that it's all straight. Okay. <laughs> Happy night. Wait, wait, can we look at the comb? We need this to get a close-up of the comb. This is just a cheap comb that I picked up. I didn't bring my good Italian comb. Why not? Because I'm afraid to lose it. No, no. <laughs> These are easy to lose. Well, Joe, you're known for making deals all over the country, you know, some of the biggest deals in the world. What are some of the secrets or, you know, what is a process to, to making a good deal? Uh, I think you have to know what the facts are. It's good to know the facts, right? And that means facts. that means you have to do your homework. Right? So if you're working on a deal, you should know who the counterparties are and what makes them tick. Uh, I, I want me to give you an example? Yeah. I say I, I won't mention names. Because, no, tell us names. No, no, no. It's 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 so profound and it was confidential, but. Uh, the CEO of one of the two companies went, uh, he was very religious. He went to Catholic mass every morning before he went to work, okay? That's important to know that. And that was public information. Right? And then, so the, the idea was that these two companies would come together, one in great need and the other having great resources. Mm -hmm. And uh, the first thing the CEO of the company did was they asked for their stock options to be made whole because they were underwater. So 
The, the CEO of the company with a lot of resources was so outraged by the focus of the person who had the need on himself as opposed to the welfare of the company. He said, this meeting is over. You don't care. He literally said, you don't give a shit about your company. All you do is care about yourself. You know, we're leaving and they got up and left. So if we go back to out of making the deal, uh, you know, you said, know, your, know the counterparty, do your mm -hmm. homework. If we apply that to, you know, trying to convince your boyfriend not to go where he wants to go for dinner, instead where you want to go, how would we apply that? Well, that's, <laughs> that doesn't like it. I, I hadn't thought about it in that context. I usually, I, I lose every argument with my wife. So. Really? Oh, why? Because no, <laughs> Amy's so persuasive. Because uh, she takes the soft no, approach. That's why I'm still married after 45 years. <laughs> they say happy wife, happy life. Right. That's it. So, no, I... Uh, Convincing your boyfriend to go where you want to go, well, that should be easy for a woman. So what, what is the way, proper way that a, a woman should convince her boyfriend? Well, I think, first of all, it says a lot about the man if he doesn't want to please you. Want to have a good relationship, why wouldn't you want to keep the other person happy? Right? So if the person isn't in that mode, then you should ask yourself, why am I with this person? <laughs> I'm going to show this episode to my boyfriend. <laughs> so well, that he, he says yes to my every day. Right? Can you say that again? He doesn't know how lucky he is. <laughs> Joe, I know you're a really picky eater, and I brought over some of our most beloved Chinese snacks for you. For you to try. Now, what would you what would you guess that this is? Uh Well, whatever they are, they look very weird. <laughs> Is it animal or vegetable? That's for you to guess. What do you think it looks like? It looks like roots. Looks like roots. I forgot, are you vegetarian now? Well, it depends on which diet I'm on. Now, take a sniff. What does it smell like? Push, push it out, take a dibble. It's very crunchy. Mm -mm. It's good. It's good? Yeah, I like it. It's just salty. That's great. This is chicken's foot. Yeah, okay. I've had duck's feet, but never chicken's feet. Well, I'm glad you like it. That's yeah. great. Can I have another one? Yeah, of okay. course. Wow, I'm, this is amazing. Oh, that's a big one. I don't want that. That's, <laughs> that's a whole claw. <laughs> Thank you. I am impressed. Don't waste anything. See, that's... All great cuisines mm -hmm. were born in poverty. Mm. Like, like curry? Any great cuisine. I mean, look at the basic, some basic Italian dishes, right? Okay, now try this. Uh, what do you think this is? Hmm. Well, I don't know. In Italian, it looks almost like botarga, but it's not fish eggs. Want Have me a to snip. bite it? Yeah. Oh, that's strong. <coughs> Here we go. Ooh. Oh, it's not fish. What no, well, you? maybe it's not botarga because it doesn't have the taste of that. I don't know. I couldn't venture a guess on this. It's vegetable. Ah. This, this is called la tiao. It's the most, it's more beloved than this. Wow. That's good too. I like all this stuff because I'm, you know, I grew up not being afraid to try new foods. You know, I never grew up on roast beef and mashed potatoes. Italian diet. Are you leaving, oh, okay, the, okay. Are you leaving uh, the food for me later? Yeah, if you want it. Oh, yeah. Don't throw it out. Okay. All right. I'm going to keep this right here. It's always good to come back and see you, Grandmaster Joe. Good luck. Send my love to Amy. I will. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be posting a new video each week who have tips and tricks that I think will help all of us lead a better life.